So I'm going to show you uh, GitHub Pages because it's free. <clears throat> if you just pay a couple bucks or five bucks a month, there's other hosting services that you can make this process easier. However, um, this is an all free tutorial. So we're going to stick to GitHub Pages uh, for this. If you don't know how to use GitHub, maybe just ask a, a friend how to host a website. There's nothing tied to GitHub for this. And using GitHub Pages is a bit confusing. But let's let's jump right into it. So I'm going to click on New for a Repository. We'll call mine um, Picnic Tour California. So you just set a name. Uh, this will be in the URL of the file. Then I'm going to create the repository. When you download the the file from marzipano so after i click on clicked on the export button here in the upper right hand side it did uh, download this file project title i've actually moved it into the folder with all the images that i've been working on uh, for the tour so i'm just going to right click on it and i'm going to extract it here now i have this folder project title and so this folder actually has all the HTML for the entire website, right? So as long as you get this thing up onto a hosted site, you'll be good to go. Your, um, your virtual tour will be up there. And you know, you might want to get a friend to help you out with this, but I'll, I'll show you what to do. So I'm in the, the, the folder that all these files are in that I just downloaded. And I've created a new repo on GitHub, so I'm just going to copy this with a modification here in the second command. The git init, just copying whatever is on the left hand side here, right? Then I'm going to do git add, I'm going to do git add star because that's all the files. Then I'll commit it exactly what it says. And you can just copy and uh, paste it, except for that the second line, which is instead of git add readme, um, you want to put git add star. It may ask you for your username and password for GitHub at this stage. Uh, I have mine set up so that it's automatically bypassing the username and password and uh, just pushing it up to GitHub so I don't have to log in all the time. So it's going to take a couple of minutes here. So it's uploaded all the files. Uh, one thing to note is that if you haven't set up your GitHub account uh, to use SSH, SSH, you're going to need to use HTTPS. So this, there's a button here right at the top. And if you haven't set up your encryption keys or if you don't know what that is, Make sure that you have HTTPS uh, selected here and not SSH. So when, when you use HTTPS, it's going to be uh, a bit different. What the um, what this URL is here, right? So when you you're going to have to change this so that it's instead of this URL here, get at getup.com. It's going to be HTTPS, and this is what you're going to need to add on this line here. So I click on my project repo. I have all the files here. You can't uh, see it as a web page yet because uh, you need to do another configuration. So here, on the right-hand side, there's settings. Click on settings. Scroll down to it says GitHub Pages. From the source, select the master branch. So now the master branch is uh, selected as the source of GitHub Pages, and this is the this this will be the website. It's going to take a few minutes for it to be live. Okay, and while you're waiting for it, it's going to say site not found. But let's give it a couple minutes, and we'll check back.
So after a few minutes, um, you know, it might take up to 10 minutes. Get up pages will show that the site is published. So if you just click on this URL, you can see your site up and your clients can see the site. Um, you could just run the tour straight from here, or you could embed it into another web page like a, a real estate site or something. Just have this portion of for your virtual tour. If you're going to do it in high volume, you probably want to use other software packages. Uh, we have a site up here, virtualtours.theorespaces.gov. There is quite a bit of commercial and some free software packages that you can use. Uh, many of these are hosted in the cloud. If you just want a simple tour, this one's free. Google Tour Creator for free. Mars Upon is the one we just reviewed. That's this is also free. Uh, most of them are commercial, but they're you know because they're commercial, they're easier to use, right? So this site is virtualtours.theta360.guide. Have fun creating your virtual tour with the Ricoh Theta Z1.